welcome back to my channel currently reading i'm sarah and this time i'm going to be talking about the book birdie by tracy lindberg i'm not sure where i first heard of this book um so i can't help there i usually like to know remember the story of how i came across a certain book a book recommendation or such, but I can't remember. I'm sure that this was probably on some book list of books by indigenous authors. So I imagine that's where I first heard about it from. So I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to speak upon this because this is a super um, heavy, intense book, but also very like mystic and vague and poetic. It might be hard for me to work through speaking on this um, because I'm still not totally sure how I was able to grasp it all. Um, but just to start, so Tracy Lindbergh is a indigenous author from Canada, um, part of the, the Cree nation there. And Bernice, or Birdie, is the main character of the book, and she is a Cree woman from Loon Lake, Alberta, Canada. And then she moves to live in British Columbia, Canada. So the story is mostly about her, but it also has other of her relatives, other female characters, her mother, Maggie, her aunt Val, and her sister cousin Frida and her um, boss Lola. So it was kind of hard to follow at first because they were kind of jumping to and from the timeline. So I believe it began with her being in British Columbia working at the bakery, Lola's bakery. And then you kind of as the chapters progress, you kind of fill in her story leading her up to that point where she's living in British Columbia. So you find out about her past um, living with oh, um, her past living in Alberta with her mother and then living with her aunt in the city then living with um, a white family for a few years, and then her living on the streets for a few years, and then her time in a psychiatric facility, and then to her living in British Columbia. So as you can tell, it, it was kind of difficult at first to understand the timeline and how things progressed for her. Um, but then as you learn and as the other characters come in, you realize like that she had history of sexual abuse and that stayed with her, you know, her whole life. And she was dealing with that, dealing with like abandonment issues, you know, with her father, with her mother, with her aunt. Um, I mean... As you can imagine, ha you know, living in a foster home type of situation and then living on the streets. I mean, this is very, like, intense subject matter, I, I think. So, um, and then the, so throughout the story, um, each chapter kind of begins with a dream. So there's elements of, like, this myst mysticism, um, and the dream and a good portion of it, you know, she, Bernice, Birdie is laying down in bed, like sleeping and her aunt and cousin come to take care of her and that they were just trying to give her space to heal. And that's what she was doing. You know, she was, they kind of talk about the, this traveling she was traveling in her dream state, going back to her memories, um, possibly things she had suppressed within her, 
and going back and you know reliving that in order for her to heal recover and move on and by the end of the book she is able to get out of bed and and somewhat move on so it just it's very I find it very difficult to like describe describe this book so I hope that kind of helps um give a gist of of the idea but like I said it you know it's poetic it's mystic um it's painful it's trauma um so it's it's hard to read at times and but really powerful i think overall and you know i there's other symbols i feel like in in the story with her with the, the tree of life that they mentioned over and over again, um, her, with her cooking, her obsession with this celebrity, um, different aspects that are kind of just like briefly thrown in there that I think have a some more symbolic meaning that I'm not sure I can work out. Like a lot of times I feel like I need to have like a high school class talking about a specific book to make me think of things that I'm not thinking of. So it's, I find it hard to, to kind of review books like that without hearing other people's takes on it, um, and interpretations. Um, so I'm just, I feel like it kind of just giving a, a generic uh, overview, I guess, but I found it, you know, really powerful and a must read. I think it gives, I mean, obviously it's fictional, but a lot of it is happening, you know, um, the being homeless and foster care and issues with like drinking and the sexual abuse, like these are all things that, that happen and are prevalent in many communities, not just the indigenous community. So I thought that it was really powerful and I recommend you checking it out. You know, I'm a big proponent of reading more indigenous authors, you know, voices that we're not accustomed to hearing as much. Um, so definitely recommend checking out Birdie by Tracy Lindbergh. Until next time, keep reading.